Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video session, I will solve paper 9608 W21 that is October November 21. Now I'm going to start task 2 because task 2 and task 3 are more related to programming and having more concepts. That's why I'm going to prepare this. Task 2.1 discuss what is meant by good programming practice i have written about it should be readable and understandable you have to write a code in such a way a person can easily read and understand what is meant of that code proper naming convention you should use proper naming convention you should use relevant variable names comment to ex explain a complex logic if you are thinking there is a complex logic you should write the comment about that code follow the structure you should follow the structure take your code and handle the error and exception handling and keep it simple and avoid hard code these are the good programming points task 2.2 design and write program code to declare initialize and output the contents of a 1d array this is 1d array and how many points you need to cover number one implement the different initialization methods such as fill the complete array with a single value and with increment or decrement a sequence fill the array with obtained programming function for example fibonacci sequence i will copy this code into my pycharm editor this is my main function in main function first of all i am going to ask input enter the length of the array you will enter the length of the array maybe 5 10 20 whatever you like to enter that will store into variable n while true here i have applied a loop that will continue loop by default i am passing true and it will be break when it will stop when it will use the break statement and when break statement will use when you will enter choice equal to four here i have written main menu number one number two number one is first task of initialization two three so on number four is the exit menu this is my list is in empty array okay first of all it will ask you to enter one value this value should be between one to four enter your choice and that choice will store into variable ch and after this it will check if ch equal equal to one if you will enter one then it will call the task one that is array with single value and i am passing two parameters my list comma n second point ch equal equal to two okay, first of all i will show you array with single value what is doing on this array with single value this is array with single value it receives two parameters first parameter is my list that is array and second parameter is the n it will ask you to enter the single value you will enter one value and that value is initialized with the whole array okay it will initialize the array by using that value my list equal to n times this is single value that you will enter and after this it will show the print list i will show you the output enter the length of the array suppose array length is 10 now number one fill the complete array with a single value i am going to number one which value you want to enter you want to enter 50 when you will enter 50 you will see all the 10 values filled by this value that is 50 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All the value is filled by 50. Now I will enter 4 to exit. And when you will enter twice equal equal to 2, twice equal equal to 2, it will array with increment value. Increment and decrement value, it also is passing two argument, my list and n. Array with increment, decrement value. My list is array and n is the number of elements in that array. Sum equal to zero because I'm going to apply the sum because it's a sequence. Increment equal to E value input enter the value of increment. This will ask me to enter the increment that will store into variable inc. After this index is a variable that is used to control the loop it will start from index to range of n okay it will goes to n minus 1 and we have to go also 0 to n minus 1 and it will what they will do my list is the array that are receiving as a parameter dot append sum sum is the value what will be the sum by default sum is 0 after this it will add increment in that sum okay suppose you will enter two four six eight like that after this it will shows me this message 
and it will print after this i want to show the decrement also that's why i have make it empty list how make it empty list just i pass the start bracket and close bracket it will become empty list for index in range of n and same way before i did plus now i did minus okay and it will shows the increment and decrement i want to run the program and you will check the output suppose you are going to num enter 10 values okay now which value you will enter number two when you will enter number two it will ask to increment i'm going to suppose increment is five now it will filled with uh, this array 0 5 10 15 20 25 45 and same way with decrement 45 40 35 and so on zero this is the task number two that is filled the array within increment or decrement sequence of values now i'm going to number three that is array with values values from function now i'm going to show you the implementation of this function array with values from function okay when your user will enter three it will goes to here array with values from function suppose i am going to implement fibonacci series first equal to zero last equal to one and it will goes to index in range of n and if index equal to equal to zero then it will add the first element if index is one then then it will add to the second element or last element after this it will need to add first plus last and will store into variable answer and then first will become the last value and last will become the addition of these two numbers that is first plus last it will it will become answer and my list dot append will store the number that is answer okay now i want to run this program number of elements 10 this time i'm going to number three now they are showing zero one one plus one two two plus one three three plus two five five plus three eight and so on it will goes to ten elements and fill the array or initialize the array that is coming from a sequence that is fibonacci sequence fibonacci series and will store into the array now i'm going to enter number four that is going to be an exit this is a complete program task 2.3 amend this program so that it process the elements in the array an example of process to is to add up all the elements in a range and find the average value now i have used array elements one function average function and even or odd function i have used three process array elements average function even and odd okay what is in array elements this is array elements what they will ask me enter the elements into the array and the purpose of this is to enter the value of entered by the user and will store into the array my list dot append will become elm that is element and after this it will show this is print array element after this i need to get the average average of elements that is entered into the array sum equal to zero average equal to zero it will goes all the elements for index in range of n and it will need to perform the sum sum plus my list of index that will get that will give you individual elements each elements of the array after this i need to get the average how i will get the average sum divided by number of elements that is n after this i want to show sum and this is the average and this is just like just a message even or odd odd equal to zero and even equal to zero for index in range of n if my list of index percentage two equal equal to zero it means that this number is even and now i am going to count the number of even even equal to even plus one else that number will be odd and in case of odd equal to odd plus one after this i need to print even and odd okay i want to run this program to check the output enter the length of the array suppose i'm going to enter seven elements okay enter element number suppose one two three four five six and eighty five i have entered these elements it will shows me elements in the arrays are one two three four five six eighty five sum is one zero six average is fifteen average is fifteen and another function even shows three and odd is four four number is odd one two three this four four is odd number modify the program to work with a 2d array in this task i have defined two functions 2d array with the name of 2d array and it takes the three parameters one is array that is 2d array row and column display sum my list that is an array row and column and what is going on to the array this is a list my list this is the array row and column is the parameters for r i'm going to first outer loop that is that will use to control the number of rows it will start from 0 to 
row minus one and line array it will get it, this is a single line first of all i will store the record into a single line after this i will get that line i will append that line into the my list for column c in range column this will use to control the number of columns and it will ask the value first it first it will ask the value and that value is will be stored into one one line that is line array okay they will fetch one line after the fetching that line will store into the into the my list dot append function okay in this way it will store all the elements into array and that it will become the 2d array after this i need to display the sum how i am going to sum i have taken s equal to 0 every time when they will start s will become the 0 and for column in range of call what they will do it will print elements of the array r is the row and c is the column and after this it will give me the space and after i need to add the sum it means it will give me the sum of the row row sum after this this just will display the message with pipeline and will display the sum now i'm going to for sum of the column how sum of the column here first i have written r and then c here i will write first c and then r okay it will give me the sum sum of the columns and after this i need to print that sum okay now i want to run this program number enter the number of rows was three number of columns also three now i'm going to enter the variables. suppose one two three four five six seven eight nine okay now they have entered one two three four five six seven eight nine this is the sum okay one two three three plus two five five plus sum is six four five six five plus four six plus four ten ten plus five fifteen sum is fifteen same way sum is twenty four now this is the sum of column this is the sum of the column one four plus one five five plus seven twelve and this is the sum of the second column two five plus eight plus two ten ten plus five fifteen and this is the sum of third column six plus three nine nine plus nine eighteen okay in this way you can calculate the 2d array sum of the rows and sum of the columns task number three that is file handling the computer system at uh, sports club maintain a log of visits by each member each time a member visits the club in entry is added to a file as follows membership number that is six sector for example one two three four five six date of visit this is the date of visit and what you will do in task 3.1 right so to go to create a text file for containing log data for several visit, visits by the sports club members and the user will input the two strings described above these will be concatenated and added to the file this is the task 31 that is 3.1 and what is going on first of all i am asking enter the membership number and that membership number if that membership is less than six times one or that membership number is greater than six times of nine then it will ask to enter the proper membership number this is for the validation next one i will use to get the input from the user that is enter the date and date should be dd mm by by like this i have apply only length check okay while length v date not equal to eight then it will ask to enter the proper enter the date of visit no it will uh, it will get only length should be eight okay because two for day third funds third for slash two five six plus two eight now after this i need to concatenate to concatenate into a string visitor record will get the value vid is a integer that's why i am going to type casting that is in string plus asterisk that will shows me the separation between two fields v date and plus slash n that will go to the that will use to the send this string to the new line i'm going to open this file okay i'm going to open this append mode f dot write wizard record okay what will be value where is the value value is in wizard record and this wizard record is stored by f dot write and f is the pointer of the file okay by using f i can write the contents of the file and what is the contents content it content is visitor records after this it will display me on my screen okay now i'm going to run this program you are going to enter suppose one two three four five six enter the date of visit in day suppose you are at zero one zero seven and zero five when you will enter it will shows me one two three four five zero five seven five have been saved into a text file class 3.2 the process will repeat until the regular value is entered in this task i have entered a loop in that loop i am calling task 3.1 okay while true and i'm getting an input if you want to add a record 
it will add and it will add until you will enter the y so i'm going to run this program enter the six digits one four two five three six get zero one zero one zero six do you want to add another record yes if you will press y it will ask to enter another record zero one zero two zero one do you want to enter the record no after this it will this is the code that will repeat the loop until you will enter the y 3.3 write right, sudoku to output a list of wizards may be made by a sports club member from the user to input the membership input uh, in number and output the date of each visit by that member in. if the membership number is not found output a suitable message and task number three is the write a programming code and i have already written all the code this is task 33 and what is going on 33 my list the purpose of this list it will get all the lines all the it will store this is the array that will store all the lines that are getting from the file result list used to store the match line my list used to store the all the line this is a message and will get the input from the user and will store into the variable vid and this my this is my file i am going to open in read mode file is a pointer so i am this is the variable that is used to control the loop lines in file all the lines will store into array my list line dot strip means it will remove the extra characters that is the start or end of end of the string next one is no this is my list all the file all the lines i have stored into the array list into the array or into the list that with the name of my list my list is the array now in that index of array it will get first index then second so on mean this is a controlled loop that is used to control the loop and i'm going to split with asterisk because index contain the full value with the membership number then star and then date i want to make it separate a separate membership number and with a date date of visit that's why i am i am going to make it split by using the star okay that is i am going to store into another array that will become the spl string split string okay because i need id number that's why id number will become on the zero location split string of zero will store into the variable get id now get id is a string that's why i'm going to convert into integer integer of get id equal equal to vid if it is there then you will store that record into my resultant list okay once all the record will store into this list and at the last i'm going to check if there is no record in result list it means record is not found else you will shows all the elements all the records there now i want to run this okay, enter the digits suppose i'm writing two five eight seven nine six records record is not found okay i want to run it again i want to run one four two five three six only one record is found one two four two five three six this is a record is fine task 3.5 extend the program task 3.4 to present a menu to allow the user to repeatedly add a new wizard that is task number 3.2 and print the wizard that is task 3.3 now here i have entered a menu one to add the wizard two for search a particular three for exit menu and if ch equal to one then call task 31 if ch equal equal to two then call task 33 else break okay this is task number 33 that we have discussed before and this is task 3 one that we have discussed earlier now i want to run it now i'm going to enter one one to add the visitor record number one now i'm going to enter two five one four three six zero one zero one zero three that record have been saved into a text file and now i want to search a record number two which number i want to search one two three four five six when i will search one two three four five six it shows me these four records okay one two three four five six zero one zero one date is on visit on date zero one zero one zero one this is one two three four five six visit date is fourteen twelve six this is one two three four five six with the date is zero one zero eight zero eight and this is also last record that is visit on first of july 2005 okay now i'm going to enter number three this is a complete program that you have seen task 3.3 and task 3.2 okay but i have written with the name of task 3.1 that is not a problem also if you have any question anything then you can write me in comment and if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you jazakallah khair